Hey there geeks and geekettes, thanks for tuning in. This is another YouTube tag video. So guys, this is my Leroy Screwballs getting to know me tag thing. Um, if you haven't watched Leroy Screwballs channel, um, go and watch it. Uh, the guy is hilarious, um, him and his uh, partner, they're really, really funny. Um, I'm quite new to Leroy Screwball's channel, but some good stuff on there. So, much like before, there's some questions. This time it's 14 instead of 15. Uh, so I'm going to try and answer them. Um, I was tagged by the Funko Pop-Tart. So I will leave a link for Leroy Screwball's for you to follow. I will leave a link for the Funko Pop-Tart. Um, and please go and follow... Funko Pop Tart because he's been instrumental in me getting to 100 subscribers. So, on with the questions. Number one, what is your most expensive pop? I'm not entirely sure because uh, I don't check value. Um, my most expensive pop, I think, is this Sons of Anarchy Opie Winston pop. Um, unfortunately, I discovered Funko Pops far too late. Um, I wanted the Sons of Anarchy Pops and couldn't find them. And Mrs. Geek paid quite a bit for this, for what the, what the actual pop is. Um, but it's gone up in value, so we're kind of cool with that. I think she paid about £40 for it, and now they're selling for sort of £60, £65. He is in a, a pop protector to uh, obviously keep him funky fresh. I want the other three, but he, Jax Teller, is so expensive. I mean, he's going in some places for £100. The most valuable pop that we own is between one of two. Um... I wish I could claim these, but these are Mrs. Geeks, but I bought them for it, and they're in our collection. And it's Hoggle and Ludo. I get the feeling Hoggle is the most expensive pop we own, but Ludo is possibly up there. Obviously, Hoggle's in a pop protector, and this pop is absolutely stunning. He's an actual beautiful sort of pop, probably one of my favourites, and it's not really mine. And Ludo, he's no worse than Hoggle, to be fair. Obviously, he's an oversized pop. I think he's a 10-inch or whatever. So that's the most expensive. Or Between those three, one of those is the most expensive. What is the least amount you spent on a Funko Pop? Technically, the least amount I've spent on a Pop is... Sherlock with violin because he was free. Um, I started developing a collection for my stepchildren. One of them still collects. The eldest, Josh, decided he didn't want to collect anymore. And he could have been selfish and sold them all, but he didn't. He gave them to me because we bought them in the first place, which is probably fair. Obviously, I subscribe to Zbox, so I get pops for Zbox. So if you take the cost of the box into account, they are probably cheap. In 40 years, what will people be nostalgic for? Baby shark, do 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 do, baby shark, do do. I'm not even sorry. That's in your head. Um, no, in 40 years, um, I'm guessing it'll be Marvel, because that's sort of the biggest thing on the planet right now, is the MCU. So I'm guessing these Marvel Legends figures I've got from the MCU and the MCU movies. Number four, what sport would be the funniest to add alcohol to? Figure skating. People would really hurt themselves. I'm not a terrible person, but I do like it when people fall over and hurt themselves. I can't help it. It makes me laugh. I'm not talking about like old, vulnerable people or nothing, but, you know, figure skating when drunk. 
that sounds like a sport I could watch. I'm so lazy. I sweat watching sport. And that's just rugby because I'm Welsh. That's all we're good at. Um, how did you first discover Funko Pops? Um, my best friend, Michael Davis, um, he bought me a Deadpool Funko Pop for one of my birthdays. Um, I've still got it. It's not in a box because I used to unbox everything. Um, it now sits on my dashboard, bobbling away. Anyone that gets in my car, Deadpool bobbling his head drives them nuts. Doesn't drive me nuts because most of the time I'm listening to Slipknot. Um, he's moshing away on the front and it amuses me when people get annoyed by it. Number six. What is your favourite Funko Pop in your collection? Back to the original. Opie Winston. This was the second Funko Pop I owned. Um, the reason it's my favourite is that Mrs. Geek went out of, out of her way to find this. Sons of Anarchy season, season 7 had just ended. So Sons of Anarchy, and I've got Sons of Anarchy stuff there, was at the height of its sort of um, interest. And these pops became like gold dust. You could pick up Gemma Teller, but you couldn't find Clay or Jax Teller. And well, you couldn't you couldn't get Opie even then. Opie was expensive. And Mrs. Geek went out of her way to get this for me for Christmas. She'd spent a ridiculous amount of money on something else for me, and I didn't react as much as I did to this pop because Opie was my favourite sort of character in Sons of Anarchy. In case you couldn't tell, he had a bit of an influence on me, and I was luckily lucky enough to re meet Ryan Hurst in Walker Stalker this year. My favourite looking pop is probably, it's at the bottom of the pile, my Chewbacca on ATST, just because it's an awesome looking pop. What is your least favourite in your collection? That's quite easy because he's right next to me. Oops. I was only Doctor Who. Um, James Bond. Um, I can't remember what film it was from. I care that little. The Spy Who Loved Me. What Funko do you think should be made in the future? Me. I think there should be a Bearded Geek Funko Pop. I think there should be a collection involving the Bearded Geek, which is me, Geeky Heathen, Funko Pop Tart, and Super Sorrel. Just make the four of us in some really cool pops. I am completely taking the mick. Um, I'd actually like a Stephen King pop. He's my favourite author. Um, even the bad films that have been done of his books, I quite enjoy. So I, I'd like a Stephen King pop. I mean, maybe there's one out there, I, I don't know. How many Funkos do you own? That's quite easy because they're in front of me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 38 but the 38 is split across me and mrs geek now i buy random pops that i like if it's got a special edition sticker or if it glows in the dark i'll pick it up whereas mrs geek is very um set driven she has all four of the gremlin pops and she has the entire labyrinth pop set she like doesn't like all of them she likes her her sets and um I was told not to buy her any more pops because she doesn't like any of them. And then she saw a Teen Wolf pop and I'm probably going to have to buy that for her now. We also joint collect horror pops. So, uh, um, the collection will grow, no doubt. What is your favourite Funko Pop series or line? It's once again Mrs. Geek's Labyrinth Funko Pop collection. I think these are probably the first really good looking pops that I was aware of. Um, I bought the entire collection for Christmas. My mum, I think my mum bought Ludo for her for Christmas, but we bought the collection for Christmas and they're really good looking pops and they're only going up in value. So yeah. Um, what is your ultimate pop grail? Um, my 
personal ultimate pop grail would be Jax Teller to go with Obi Winston. Dobbs, yay or nay? Um, nay. I won't buy Dobbs. I won't. I've seen loads in stores and they don't appeal to me. But and I own two. They came in Z box and. Because they're Marvel, I don't want to part with them. So they are a knee, but if they come in a sus subscription box and it's a horror or a Marvel or DC daub, I'll keep them. Name an interesting fact about yourself viewers won't know. Hold on. Okay, so an interesting fact about myself is I'm a bit of an artist in sort of multiple forms. Uh, I've been in numerous bands, um, no degree of success, I've played the toilet circuit and really enjoyed it but I've blown my voice out and I think I'm pretty much done with it and I've just rubbed dust all over my hat because I've gone to get my other hat which is I draw. So that is a Thor minimalist art I've drawn. We've probably got about 200 of these dotted around the house, so staircase is covered in them, which is why I've just got dust all over me. There's obviously Jarlito's Joker. And that's King Ezekiel from The Walking Dead. Now, before anyone thinks I've printed them, you can actually see where the Sharpie has started to run out, and I never got around to finishing it, but that's how it sits on my stairs, because I don't want them to look like photocopies. So yeah, there's my interesting fact. I try to be an artist. And 14, from your collection, who would be your last standing pop and why? Again, it's my Opie Winston pop. He would be my last standing pop purely because of the effort Mrs. Geek went, out, went to to get him for me. She hunted for this thing for a long, long time. Um, also... I'm actually sick of Ryan Hurst being my favourite character in every show and dying because he doesn't last very long in anything. So that would be my last standing Funko Pop. He's the most sentimental pop I've got by a long stretch. And that's my 14 questions. So now I've got to tag three people. Yeah, I've got to tag three people and it's your getting to know me... Leroy Screwballs, getting to know me thingy. I should have written this down a bit better. So I would like to tag Weird Beard. Um, spoken to him a little bit. He's got a cool Funko Pop collection, and he's got a Slipknot tattoo. I love Slipknot, so that's him. UK Pop Chases. Um, he's a kind of a newer YouTuber. Um, loves his Funko Pops, especially his Marvel. Um, he's looking for a bit of support, so maybe this will help him out a little, get him a few more subscribers and views, so that's cool. And then, finally, Demise Family. Um, they do uh, subscription boxes, they do Comic Cons, and I've seen a few Funko Pop videos, so I'm assuming they've got quite a few. So, yeah, Weird Beard, UK Funko Pop Chases, and The Demise Family. If you haven't watched The Demise Family, somehow they've only got 70-something subscribers, and their videos are great. It's a proper family event with the kids are all involved, including quite a small, this old child, mum and dad, and then the older boys. And the videos are really cool. They seem like a really fun family that get involved in everything together so i'd like to see them sort of all around the table just they just seem really cool they also do their own subscription box so uh i'll tag these guys i'll leave links for the guy these guys for you to go and check out and hopefully we can get these guys some more views because these are some smaller youtube channels that i'd like to help because i like watching them um, check out Leroy Screwballs and please check out the Funko Pop Tart. The guy has been relentless in his support of me. Um, he's tagging me on Twitter, he's retweeting for me. And the guy's got his own channel that he could be doing all this with, and he does, but 
he likes my content for some bizarre reason and he's helped me out no end so guys i've been the bearded geek this has been 14 questions i've rambled i'll see you guys soon thank you for tuning in goodbye <laughs>